David Bay here from MuscularDevelopment.com. We are in Louisville for the 2016 Kentucky Muscle. I am here with somebody you guys know very well, two gentlemen. We have Colin Clark and his trainer, Glenn Eubelor. Colin, your sophomore year in the NPC. We saw you on stage last year. You absolutely killed it. Um, what have you been up to in the last year? You know, you've had a long time between your last show and this one. How's, uh, how's the year been treating you? The year has been pretty good. Um, the diet and the training came a long way for 22 weeks. Yes, it's hard, but you never give up and never quit. That's the right attitude to have. Now, Glenn, uh, you know, obviously a great experience working with Colin, getting ready for the show last year, but it was a, a, not quite a, you know, necessarily a full prep, um, you know, as far as what people normally put into a bodybuilding show. You've had a year to work with him. Talk about yes. some of the changes that you've seen with Colin uh, over the past year as, uh, you know, as a bodybuilder, as a young man, things like that. Well, he's very young as far as bodybuilding goes. He's just 23 and he's just getting started and he actually just started learning all of the multi-joint movements and some of the more powerlifting movements besides the bench press. Yes. And so it, it was neat to see his body just mature almost day by day and some of the muscle separation and density really start to happen and I think everybody could see that on stage tonight. Yeah now Colin we talked you said you came in about five pounds heavier than you were last year um, and, and noticeably leaner now you're only you were 137 pounds yeah. okay so on you know when we talk about five pounds of stage muscle ten pounds of stage muscle that's a lot on somebody who's 240. So when you talk a, a good five to maybe even 10 with the conditioning yeah. pounds of stage muscle, that's that's a lot. Um, it, you know, as far as your training with the last year with Glenn, I mean, did you did you kind of step things up a notch knowing that uh, that you had your time on the stage, you kind of had that feeling and you wanted to get it back again? Was the, was the training just, uh, just that much more intense? Yes, um, it's been a lot more intense. When um, Glenn pushed me to the limits, and keep me going. That motivated me to keep, keep on training as hard as I can. All right, now also in the last year, both of you guys and, uh, and Colin's family have been, been traveling a lot, doing a lot of speaking um, at, at various events for special needs and, and Down syndrome. What's that been like for you, Colin? You've, you've, you've been all over the country talking to you know thousands and thousands of people that you've inspired through your efforts in bodybuilding. How's that been for you? It's been incredible. I, I, I can't explain no words. And, uh, it, it feels so great. And... Glenn, I mean, it's, it's got to be a really cool experience for you. You know, uh, I've done some work with Special Olympics, and you know, and, and, and we, we see so many of these young athletes just, you know, just bursting to get up on stage or, or, or get out on that that field or that court and just be competitive. And, and you, you've been able to, you know, kind of foster that with Colin but also encourage other people to, to kind of follow in his footsteps and do the same. You know, what's sure. that been like doing all the speaking that you have over the last year? I think really it's the number one thing. It's all about inclusion. It's, he's just the same as all the rest of us. It, yeah, he was, you know, born with an extra chromosome. Big deal. No limits, like, let's just go. And so last year was great. And we were very lucky and fortunate and very gracious and humbled by the worldwide response, but it didn't stop our drive. It just strengthened our resolve and made us want to just do more. So we really just worked that much harder. And honestly, he's become more and more and more humble the more attention he gets. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, sometimes when you get out there and you're traveling a lot and you have a lot of other responsibilities outside of the gym, Sometimes, you know, what made you f famous, I guess, and you can say famous in, in Colin's, you know, in Colin's yes, instance, and in yours, what makes you famous also can hinder maybe your progress because you have all those other things going on. Clearly that wasn't the case with Colin coming in, much improved, the guys on the muscular development forums, we posted some pictures up. First thing the guys were saying on the forums is like, man, Colin made some improvements. And, and uh, you know, it looks like you might be taking out one of the two guys on stage. So uh, that, was, that was really cool for you. Uh, your routine, man, I'm a, I'm a big, everybody knows I'm a big 80s fan, and especially a Rocky fan. Um, what, what what made you pick the Rocky music for your routine? It was really cool, man. Um, well, I, I just, you know, when I listened to that song, it's so powerful. It brought joy and that energy to the choreographer when he stepped on the stage. 
when you do that, it's kind of like a major moment of a lifetime to do that. All right, I'm glad we've had plenty of chance to talk. Yeah. An 80s fan as well, and had to, yeah. I had to put a smile on your face. Yeah, like Colin wanted to post to Rocky. Oh yeah, he, and he just crushed it. Like we we worked and worked and worked on the choreography for the timing between the poses to hit bam on the beat and bam on the beat. He was so excited to learn it. He was always ahead of the music. I said, you have to slow down and catch up with the music. Let the music guide your movements. And once he got that down, he had it. Uh, and he just practiced it over and over and over and over and over. Well, and it, sh and it showed. It was, it was yes. a great routine. We had a lot of fun last year with the ACDC, yeah. a lot of fun again yeah. uh, with the Rocky music. Uh, you know, uh, we asked you the same question last year. What's next, man? You're just gonna you gonna focus on maybe doing a couple more Kentucky competitions in the next upcoming years, or what? Uh, any any future goals, or just kind of taking it one day at a time right now? Uh, yeah, so I plan to do a couple more Kentucky shows, and in the future do a one in Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. And I win that one somehow. I don't know. I'm gonna try to qualify for the vote card. All right. Well, I tell you what, if anybody is going to do it, anybody's got the drive and the determination Anything's possible. to get to where they want to be, it's definitely Colin. Um, on behalf of myself and everybody at, at musculardevelopment.com and, and, and beyond, um, it, it was an honor to come here, watch you guys and be, see you back on stage as well. But, um, but thank you very much for the opportunity, for the interview, and everything else uh, that this weekend has encompassed. And just we're going to finish that off with a big uh, congratulations to you, Colin. Congratulations to you, Glenn. And uh, guys, that's going to do it for us. One more year from the 2016 Kentucky Muscle, and we're going to see you back here in 2017, or we're going to follow Colin to Ohio. Wherever he ends up on stage, that's where we're going to be. But we're going to be out for 2016. Talk to you guys later.